Hi everyone, so we're back and I am home right now. Um, there is my brother in his computer and I am ready to set up this um, terrarium. Um, these are the supplies that I got and like I said, I already had the fish tank here. It's a 10 gallon fish tank that I got at PetSmart about five years ago. So I actually got rid of my fish that I had here, but of course I still have my other uh, fish over here. And um, there's about 10 neon tetras there. So, these are the stuff that I'm going to be using for the snails. And actually, I just, when I came home, I noticed that the snails were really hungry. So, I, of course, I gave them um, some lettuce. Now, <clears throat> depending on what you're going to be using, um, your materials are, of course, going to be different from mine. Um, what I've got here is um, my fish tank only comes with the light um, in the hood that is part of that um, aquarium setup. So I went over to PetSmart and I got this um, metal um, cover that you can actually put on top. This is actually mostly for reptiles. So if you have reptiles or um, dry, um, spiders or any other critter, you can actually use this. And that's, the other thing that you want to get is you want to get um, sand for your um, for your for your snails. Um, and it can it, I mean soil. I mean I mean soil. I'm sorry. Um, the type of soil that you want to get for your snails is very important because you want your your um, your soil to be pH neutral. What that is is that it has to, it can't be acidic, too acidic, and it can't be too um, basic, which is the opposite of acidic. So this is actually pH seven. That's what snails like, pH seven. So your garden might be a little bit acidic, or it might be on the um, on the basic side, but you want to go ahead and get uh, pH seven. Um, the lights for my hood are too strong for my snail, so I don't want them to fry. So I actually went over to PetSmart and I got this um, LED light. And as you can see, it's a really nice light. Um, it's actually used for neon tetras, but I can, I'm actually going to use um, that for um, my snails. It's not very cheap, so I'm just warning you that depending on where you go and depending on the brand you get, um, this is a really nice brand. Um, they actually... Um, is the type of light that they use in some of the um, shows and documentaries they do on animals and stuff so it's natural light so you want to get something similar to that if you don't want to get something like that um, I do have another suggestion that I can give you um, if you look under the description below so I have this that I'm gonna be um, using that um, I also have some um, zip bags and this I'm actually going to be using to um, cover some of the holes through here because you want to be sure that your snails are um, have plenty of humidity. Um, you have to understand that snails thrive on humidity, humidity. and if your um, terrarium is not humid enough, your snails can die or they can go into um, a hibernation state. So you don't want to do that. You want your snails to be in and out every night, every morning whenever you see them so i'm actually going to be fixing my i hood here i have tape i have scissors um this so now that i'm almost done with this i am going to go ahead and then start moving on to the next step and like i said it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to um, necessarily have this completely straight but you want to um, have most of the areas cover so your moisture doesn't escape through on your terrarium. Of course from the inside it looks really bad but that's fine because <laughs> nobody's gonna see that besides you or your snails of course but um, they'll just think it's like oh they're clouds or something else but um now that I have that so as you can see this how it should look so if you have something similar to that, that's how it should look. Okay. So now that I have that, what I'm gonna be doing is now I'm gonna be working on the soil. So let's go ahead and then get the fish tank ready.
This is going to come in really, really handy when your soil gets too dry. You want to use this for um, to moist to put moisture and uh, on your on your soil. Um, this is something that you might be familiar with, or maybe um, if you had birds, if you have parakeets um, or finches, this is. Um, cuttle bone and this is calcium for your snails. Your snails are going to need lots of calcium in order for their shells to form so you want to provide them with calcium. Um, you can actually get uh, this at PetSmart too. Also at the dollar store they sell them for a dollar. I got it at PetSmart because I was there so um, this wasn't um, that bad. Um, you also want up somewhere where your snails can hide so I got this, fa um, this piece of log that I'm gonna be using for um, my snails, and I'm gonna arrange it in a way where they um, they can hide. Now, um, of course, you haven't seen my snails; they're really small, but eventually they do they will get um, big. So, let me go ahead and then start um, putting this together. It's gonna take me several. Um, I was gonna say several hours, but I based um, I can estimate that it will probably take me about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna. I'm going to record myself through the process and I, um, and of course I'm going to speed it up so you guys can see but I'm going to be starting with fixing the hood because that's the most important part. You want to keep your humidity in there so let me go ahead and get that done, okay? Okay, so I have my stuff here so what I'm going to be doing now is I am going to be um, trying to measure um, the, the length from here and how much I want to cover. Of course you want to have some of these little um, um, wires, I mean some of this um, exposed, you don't want it to be all covered because you want also air to flow through, but you can always make holes through these. What, what, what I want to do is because I don't want to have anything on the top, I'm actually going to be working from the inside. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, opening the zip log and I'm going to be cutting it through the middle. Now if you have another way, another type of plastic that is like clear or maybe you want to um, um, use a different color, you can always do that. Like this is my first time doing this so I'm going to see if it works or not. Um, I get really crafty when it comes down to doing stuff like that because I can um, measure myself and what I do. So if it works, obviously, that's good. But if it doesn't, then I know next time. Okay? So this is what I did. So I, I split the bag in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, measure from here to here. And I'm going to cut this side here because I don't need all that space. So let me go ahead and cut here. It doesn't have to be a straight line. It can just be something like that. But you want to make sure that you're able to cut this all the way through. Because remember, eventually, you're going to have to um, use tape around. Um, tape to tape around your bag here. So there's one here. Um, and then I'm going to get my other one over here. Now what I'm thinking is because I don't want, um, I want to have my LED light right here in the middle, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have this one right here, and I'm actually going to have the other one over here, so I'm going to lay it in there like that. And I'm just going to open this one and lay it right here. I'm going to do the same, I'm going to cut it at the same um, size, so I have both, um, this exact measurements here. And then, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be using the tape to tape inside of the bag. You can always roll this if you have extra, but you want to make sure that it is completely flat. Um, the reason why you want to do this is because you don't, when you're looking at your, when you're going to be looking at your terrarium, you don't want pieces of the bag um, showing or anything like that. Like you want it to be um, completely flat. You don't want it to be showing because if you really like your terrarium, you, sometimes you might be sitting there um, just looking at it. I know when I first had my fish tank, um, I would stare at it all night because it was, um, it was just so soothing. So you want it to be interesting as well. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what I did right after, okay? So now that I'm almost done with this, I'm going to go ahead and then start moving on to the next step. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to um, necessarily have this completely straight, but you want to um, have most of the areas cover. So your moisture doesn't escape through on your terrarium. Of course, from the inside it looks really bad, but that's fine because <laughs> nobody's gonna see that besides you or your snails, of course. But um, they'll just think it's like, oh, they're clouds or something else. But um, now that I have that, so as you can see, this is how it should look. So if you have something similar to that, that's how it should look. Okay. So now that I have that, what I'm gonna be doing is now I'm gonna be working on the soil. So let's go ahead and then get the fish tank ready. Okay, so this is where actually going to keep my terrarium, which is close to my bed. Um, I couldn't take this out, I couldn't wash this off because um, the um, the algae and the sediments that the, um, my fish left behind um, kind of like um, covered this, covered the top of the um, of the uh, tank all around it and it was like that for several months so it's, it's actually built up but I'm trying to find a way to, um, to, to, um, to remove this but I just couldn't get it out. So if you guys know a way, please let me know. Um, what I did now is I opened this, I opened the soil and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be pouring this inside now. Now, a very important um, piece of information that I actually um, found out um, just by reading is that you want your snails to have enough soil, um, not only to, to hide, but also to eat. Um, the, the, um, the snails actually eat the soil, and that also helps them with their shelf. Another important thing, too, is that if you want your snails to have babies, remember, snails can have, snails can, um, do have male and female body parts, so they can change sexes whenever they want. Um, if you want your snails to have babies, then you want to have a lot of soil in order for them to have babies. Um, and some snails lay over 100 eggs, and so um, you want to be mindful of that. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, I don't mind if my snails have babies, because that's what I actually want, ultimately. So I'm going to give them as much soil as possible. So um, a recommended amount of what I heard is about actually um, 3 inches in depth. 
three inches um, deep. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be pouring a lot of this soil. Now I am starting to notice that my soil is very dry. It's, um, when I bought it, actually, I left it in the car for a few days until this um, afternoon where when I got, I got it out. So I'm gonna have to spray it around with stuff with um, water. So just pour the whole thing in there. Okay. So now after you have poured the um, the soil, as you can see, this is about three inches. Um, it's it could be a little bit more, but that's fine. Um, I wasn't able to cover the whole thing, but I don't want it to be all covered because I don't wanna um. I don't want the snails to be having all babies all around. I just want them to be having, if they're going to be having babies, I want them to be having babies in a specific location. So I want them here. So I did like this um, little hill right there. So now that I wanna, what I'm going to do is I am going to now um, just put some of the stuff that I bought for them. So I bought the log, like I said, and I am going to be putting um, the log um, somewhere in here. Um, so I'm just going to place that there so I know that it's going to be there. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting some water to spray this um, with water because this is almost dry. So the snails are now going to be happy to find their new home very dry. So let me go ahead and bring water and then just um, spray around here. So now that I have my water here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go uh, spray around um, the soil here. And I don't, like I said, I don't want it to be very soggy, but I do want it to retain some moisture. So I'm just spraying it like that. Let it sit for about a few minutes, and then if you want to do another um, round of um, of water in this, you can do that. But I just want my snails to have a lot of um, moisture because um, there's no moisture in here. You can also wet the um, the walls just to create moisture, but um, eventually, um, once the environment gets set up, once the temperature gets set up, because this is this soil is going to retain a lot of the moisture, um, then it should be able to stabilize. Like I have said earlier in my video. This is what I got from PetSmart, and um, this is a thermometer, and as well as a, um, it reads the, the humidity of the terrarium. So right now, uh, I actually had this in my um, my pocket. So right now, it's reading the um, temperature to be, mm, that's weird, in the mm, 70s maybe, but the humidity is almost in the tropical range. It's like over 50 percent i know that's 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 crazy because now that it's out we're in the desert we it's really dry here so um i don't know why it's reading that but what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that in the um terrarium for about five to ten minutes before this settles down um it's going um i'm gonna show you how you can put this but of course the the different types of um thermometers that you're gonna be getting um, are going to be uh, placed in the ter um, terrarium uh, differently, but I'm going to I'm going to put this in a place where I can see it. Okay, so it looks we are back, and so it looks like we have almost almost reached our ideal um, humidity. Um, as you can see, um, the temperature is still. Um, almost it's in the mid 70s but the humidity it's really high it's really really high if i was a snail or if i if or this was an environment where humans lived this i will be drenched in sweat and that's how you want your snails to be you want them to be as humid as possible so right now it's reading at about 90 94 93 um I'm just gonna, I'm just, um, I think this environment is ready for the snails, so I'm gonna start um, putting them. Um, I actually found this uh, fake plant on some stuff that I was going through my room, so I, I just put it in there. Um, just to be in the safe side, I'm just gonna spray some more um, mint in here, just to kind of um give it ready. Now, what I did is I also opened my LED light, and this is how it looks the light is really nice it's really really nice so you're actually going to be able to see um, all the snails if you take a closer look here um, this is the white light but it actually has a button here at the top where you can actually push so I'm gonna push the button here at the top and it's gonna change it to a blue light um okay so let's see here okay so this is how it is um like i said this light is actually used for fish so if you still if you want like a night scene or you want to see your snails at the night um you can um use this light but obviously i'm going to be using the other one because i want that now like i said i don't know how i am going to be putting this light here because this goes inside and um my hood actually will not allow this to be placed in there because it's going to be all covered so i'm most likely what i'm going to be doing is i am going to be just putting tape all over the back here just to help hold it in place but i'm going to try to arrange it in a way that when i remove the hood every time i feed them um that it doesn't hit the um 
the LED lights because they can break. These actually last very long because they're actually um, made out of like little little tiny pieces um, unlike like regular um, light bulbs that can um, break if you shake them hard. Um, so let me go ahead and then um, tape this and then um, I'm going to put the hood and I think my snails are ready to be placed into their new home.